In this video, we'll be discussing the di different types of padding that we have available here at FANT for patients that are suffering from heel pain. Um, the most common one that you'll typically see is this one here. This is called the, the, the Thule's uh, Heavy Duty Gel Heel Cups. These are most commonly used for patients that are suffering from pain, especially kids that are suffering from heel pain from disorders like Seaver's disease, which is actually a growth plate discomfort that children can get. Um, and literally these are fitted based on the patient's size. If you look in the box, it'll have the instructions on, and in this case, this one's designed for patients that are under 175 pounds. And literally very simply, what you do is you take this little guy and you stick it in the back of their, their shoe, just sit in the back. In this case, I'm obviously have no liner in there. They'd leave their liner in their shoe. Um, and when they play, especially sports like soccer or football or anything with a cleat on it, this works really well to help with that pain. But in general, even some of our older patients or patients that are having pain from heel spurs, these work really well as well to help reduce some of those symptoms. The other options that we have available um, for just generalized heel pain are these uh, uh, hay pads. Hay pads have like a little indentation to the heel to allow for, uh, for comfort for patients that are suffering from heel pain, from heel spurs or plantar fasciitis. It has this nice little arch that kind of slides up. When you put it in a shoe, it actually rolls up on the inside of the shoe to give them more arch support. And that once you place that in a shoe, you would just slide that in there and the patient gets a little bit better support with that. Uh, these are also great for patients that are wearing boots or post-op shoes that feel uncomfortable in them because they're very flat and stiff, you can put this inside there and that'll make more comfort for them. For patients, especially women, that have just generalized heel pain um, from spurs, uh, these work really well. These are just, just basically called uh, pour-on heel cushions. They slide into their shoes and give them a little more cushion when they walk. One of the more common ones that we'll dispense, and this is not so much for heel pain in the bottom of the foot, but for the back of the heel, is these adjustable heel lifts. You can actually see they have several layers on them. These layers allow for you to put in the shoe and actually remove a layer if you have to because the patient's foot feels like it's popping out of the shoe. Or in some cases, we'll actually instruct the patients to remove a layer every several weeks so they can slowly ease their heel back down to the floor. But it does a great job of lifting the heel while they're wearing their shoe. And by doing so, it takes a little tension off the Achilles tendon, which can become very uncomfortable. Uh, most patients, I, I advise that you take this little pad, you put it in their shoe. And if they just have the liner that came with the shoe, you would put that back on top of the actual heel lift. In this case, I have an orthotic because I wear orthotics in my shoes, but um, typically we wouldn't do both those together. But the liner that came with the shoe would go over that, so when the push patient puts that on their foot, it essentially lifts the heel just a little bit so that Achilles tendon doesn't have so much tension on it. And that is the video for uh, padding for heel pain here at Fant.